Okay, so what you do, you've got your wheel off, make sure all the air is out. Yeah, that still come. That way it's easier, and then you opposite the valve, you want, you want to break the seal of the tyre. Break the seal of it. And that makes it come up a lot easier. Put your tyre lever in, one tyre lever, and then two tyre levers, put about two inches or an inch away from it, pull and pop it over, bend it back, and then just wiggle it around a bit. It's not force, it's not force, it's just technique. Move your arm a bit, maybe. It's just technique. Yeah, like that. Like that then. Right around. Take your tube out. Don't, no, don't start here, you start somewhere else. The valve comes out last. Boom, and then we're going to take the tyre off because we want to find out what caused the flat tyre. And what we can do is also check the rim tape. This tyre doesn't have, this rim wheel doesn't have rim tape, but if it's got rim tape, it might have a gap in there, but this one doesn't have any. But you also check your rim tape, and what you want to do is pump the tyre, pump the tyre up, pump the tube up, sorry. Pump the tube up and then go around near your face and see if there's any little holes you can hear. So pump, put a bit of air in there, and then there might be four, not be four punctures in there. So you find how many holes are in there and then fix those, patch them up. Or we'll put your spare tube in there, but before that, before you put your tube in there, you have to go around and gently find where the puncture is. All right, so you wanna, you wanna find the cause of the puncture. You wanna put some air in here. So first thing, put air in here, find out how many holes. One hole, four holes, why the holes? And then you can go in the tyre and it's, if it's caused by glass or wire, try and locate that glass and wire and then pull it out. And this is also a good chance to inspect your tyre. And that's really easy, that's how you take a tyre off. Very, very easy. Shouldn't take more than 20 seconds. Done. Oh, okay. it took me like a couple of minutes the other day. Yeah, because you're not experienced. Yeah, because I haven't done it for years. You change a thousand flat tyres literally, you get a lot of that. Yeah, I've only changed a few. Okay. Alright, so we're going to transfer this tyre to this wheel. So you're breaking the seal. Hear that cracking? So let's go around. There you go, break the seal. If you don't break the seal, sometimes you have to, sometimes you don't have to, but just have a go anyway. Alright. And then starting opposite the valve, I'm going to put my tyre lever in. One, two. Let me sh show me how you do that. Yeah. Like that. Bend it over. That breaks the seal. See it opening up? <laughs> and then pull them around. All the way around, and then leaving the valve in, pull the tube out from anywhere. I'll leave the valve in last. You see, I'll patch this. <laughs> patch the fuck out. Patch this tube a lot, and then the last thing is the valve. Boom, and then this tire. This tire pretty worn, so it comes off easy. I'm going to put it on this tire. There's no, there's no punctures in this tire. I've already checked it. There's no work. Uh, just double do another double check. Hands around slowly. If there's a bit of wire. Pick your finger, so you don't want to do it too fast. Sometimes have a direction tread, it doesn't really matter on a road bike, but we'll follow it anyway. And then I'm putting one, one side on first. One side on first. One side of the bead, so half the tyre. Alright, that's on. Now I'm going to put the tyre flat on the ground. I'm going to get my little tube. I get my little tube, make sure the tube is not twisted. I'm going to put a bit of air in the tube. And then I'm so fit I can actually, I don't even need to carry a spare pump because I can just blow. <laughs> I can pump yeah. the tyre up with my lungs. That's how strong my lungs are. Wow. Like a Zeppelin. This is amazing. And then I'm going around, going around, there you go. Going around the tyre. So it's always easiest when it's flat. I'm going around, so what, what, what kind of a vegan pizza? A big high carb vegan pizza. I'm just going around, pushing that tube in there, that's all not twisted, that's perfect, it's textbook. And then when I start the valve, I can even let some air out, make it easier, easier to put in. Start the valve, hold one finger, down there, and just working around, holding there. And then eventually my hands are going to start to come together, like I'm going to catch a football, or a soccer ball, like you're catching a soccer ball with your hands. Finish that last bit of crust on the vegan pizza. And this is not, you don't need tie levers for this, really. You can just use experience. If you need tie levers, use them, but you shouldn't have to use tie levers ever to put a tire on, especially if it's a worn tire. And then I'm just gonna push it up there, make sure it's not 
Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to check for the tube if it's pinched between the bead of the tire and the wall of the rim. If it is pinched, I'm going to give it a wiggle and it'll suck it up under there. It'll suck it up under there, but it's okay now. So I just go around. Otherwise, if you don't do that, there's a chance you'll get a, another puncture very quickly. Could be a catastrophic blowout. So I'm going to go around every. This takes an extra 30 seconds, but it gives you peace of mind. It gives you peace of mind. So the left side is all right. Now I'm going to go to the other side, starting at the valve, finishing at the valve. Yeah, I don't see many people do that actually. A lot of people don't do this because mm. they're noobs. They're noobs. And then they get it pinched. And then, boom, it's ready to pump up. Ready to pump up. And that's how you change your flat tire. So, and that's how you change your tire. It's how you remove a tire, it's how you put a tire on, it's how you do anything with a tire. Establish what caused the flat tire by pumping, putting some air in the tube. Find out how many holes you've got to fix. Then you put your spare tube in there and uh, go from there. That's how you do it. It's very easy. you just got to practice on a thousand, probably a thousand times. That's why it's so easy for me to do it. Practice. Do it. Just do it at home. Taking tire on and off, on and off, on and off. Until you're confident enough, you can teach someone else how to do it.